Hey, what's up, guys? Max here. Let's talk about the offer, the new piggy bank. And we, we haven't seen something like this before. From my recollection, this is the first time we I see this. So you're going to be getting uh, a good amount of units, 125 units. I would say that's a decent amount of units with an additional 2,000 trophy tokens for $5. Now, I would say if you're considering to pay or spend $5, uh, I would definitely not pick this up. If that's the only thing you're going to be spending, you see how there's a collector daily car that gives you 735 units over a period of the month, I believe it's a 30 day card, um, but gives you an instant 135 units where if you pick up the piggy bank, it gives you only 125, 10 units less, but you do get those trophy tokens. But in the long run, as long as you pick up those units, you're going to get those additional 600 units for the $5. So if you're spending $5, the collector's daily card is a lot better than the piggy bank but let's talk about the piggy bank because the piggy bank um you know it, it's not a bad card for five bucks you know you can pick up those 125 units you know it's better than if you don't have the time to grind you know, you're only able to grind uh, all the milestones on the features six star arena um <clears throat> excuse me and hit those units um, and collect those units only once every three days with the piggy bank every time you fill it up you can claim it now you end up spending some cash worth it but overall too what the trophy tokens it's not just the units you're getting it's also 2,000 trophy tokens <clears throat> man guys sorry about that i got something on my throat and then when it comes to the trophy tokens there's quite a couple of things you can get um i would say you know celestial one alloys at nine one thousand nine hundred and thirty tokens are pretty good um you know there's uh the tier three alloys too if you're thinking of ranking up some relics you can get some relic shards which is 500 for six the six star relic shards at 970 um and then all the other little ones the yellow rank up materials that you can get when it comes to the big materials like the t6 um the t3 alphas those kind of get pushed over the limit so you have to buy this offer twice get the 4,000 tokens because they cost over 2,000 so those can be added in there but you could also collect some seven star shards so for five bucks you get 500 seven star shards let's just say um, that's what you decide to go with and 125 units I don't think it's a bad deal um, you know when it, if you guys decide want to spend five dollars towards the game uh, I myself I'm passing up on this cash deal the piggy bank deal um and and the reason why is because of my standing at the moment of where i sit when it comes to the game you know i said it before and i'm gonna say it again in this video and i kind of will repeat myself until i change my mind and until something happens that i do completely change and have a different feeling different feeling towards the game and start maybe spending again you know but at the moment i'm keeping my wallet and all my cash in my pockets uh when it comes to kabams at the moment until they um i don't know i feel like a little better towards them um when it comes to monetization monetization things wow guys i can't speak on this video and and everything else but let me know your thoughts on the piggy bank you know this is the first time we're seeing a mixture of units and tokens i think like again if you're spending the five bucks i think it's not bad um now it's got a five dollar price tag with a 10 multiplier so you're spending fifty dollars at the end of the entire event uh it adds up money adds up you know but you're getting a good amount of units you know and in, in, in the big picture so let me know your thoughts guys on it take care i'll catch you guys on the next one peace